All right, guys, welcome to your 26th Ruby tutorial. And in this lesson, I want to finish up talking about regular expressions, at least for now. Now, I need to talk to you guys about one more topic involving regular expressions, and that's decision making using regular expressions. So say that you were making a website and you wanted the user to sign up with a name and a password and everything. Say you were making a website like Facebook or something where they needed to input their name like Bucky Roberts. Well, what we could do is we could test the string, which would be their name, and we could see, we could like make sure it didn't include any weird symbols like dollar signs and I don't know, like numbers or anything. So the first thing we would do is we would need to make sure that their name didn't include any numbers like Bucky67. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So let's just go ahead and print out on the screen your, wow, I messed that up already, excellent. Your name cannot contain numbers and we wanna check if their name contain numbers. So we would go ahead and write an if statement and now go ahead and just write a name with a number in it, like Bucky45. Obviously, this can't be someone's name, so we want to test against this using regular expressions. Now, I'm going to introduce you guys to a special type of operator, and that's the equal sign in the little squiggly. Now, it's the very top left key on your keyboard, in case you never saw it before. I think it's actually called the tilde. I think they use it in, like, Mexico or something. I don't know what it's really used for. But... What this does in Ruby is it's used whenever you want to compare it to a regular expression. So basically, we want to test for any numbers. So make your regular expression and make your group from the range 0 to 9. So basically, this is a group 0 to 9, which basically looks for any number. Now, we're basically looking for any number in this string right here, and if we find a number in their string, then obviously we need to give them an error message because you can't have numbers in your name. So go ahead and hit enter, and our output, your name cannot contain numbers, obviously. So that is a very simple way that we can use decision making using the equals little tilde and then giving it a range to check by. Now another cool thing that you can do is you can actually use a method called match if this tilde thing is kind of confusing and this is what I prefer to do as well. So let's go ahead and think of another example other than names because I mean the difference between names and usernames can get kind of confusing. So say that we wanted the user to enter their telephone number for whatever reason. So let's go ahead and write something on the screen and let's say we want to test we want to make sure that the telephone number that they give us it doesn't contain letters because your number can't be like 486 apple pie 74 it just doesn't make sense I'm sorry so let's go ahead telephone number can't contain letters explanation point so now what we want to do is we want to use our decision making skills to go ahead and uh, finish this function so if and now and put their phone number like um, 486 beans and pie 34 that seems like a nice number to me now instead of this little equals tilde we want to use the match method now as a parameter in the match method we need to give it a regular expression so again remember like I said every regular expression starts and ends with that forward slash now in between these forward slashes we need to say okay all characters so what we can do is we can give a group of a b c d e no 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 we learn a little shortcut and that is just a to z now what this is going to do is it's going to check the does this string have any characters in it if so then give them this error message that's basically all we're saying here let's go ahead and hit enter and check it out it says telephone number cannot contain letters because this telephone number 486 beans and pie 34 does indeed contain a lot of letters so now let's just go ahead and verify this by writing an actual real telephone number so four um five four five six three four so now check it out our new telephone number is four five four five six three four now even though it contained this little hyphen right here 
what we were doing is we were checking whether it contained any letters. So this is an indeed a value, or what's the word I'm looking for? A valid telephone number. There we go. I was about to say valuable. This is indeed a valid telephone number since even though it contains a hyphen, it does not contain letters. So let's go ahead and hit enter and check it out. No error message whatsoever. So there you go, there's the basic concept of how to use regular expressions in decision making. Again, whenever you want to match a string against a regular expression to see if, you know, maybe it contains any numbers or letters, you can either use the equals tilde or you can use this match function. Now, to be honest, there are subtle differences. They aren't the exact same thing, but for the concept of this tutorial, I'm just going to say they're the exact same thing. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video when we are going to be done talking about regular expressions.